In this video, we're going to learn how to write a Python program that will print out a random Chuck Norris joke. To make this program, we're going to use what's called a web API or a web service. Normally, when we enter a URL into a browser window and hit enter, what's called an HTTP request occurs, where HTTP is an important protocol for web traffic. When we make a request for a website like google.com, we get back HTML and CSS and other files and data that make up the Google website. Services that provide different business functionalities and data are also delivered over the HTTP protocol, where if we want to make a request to a particular URL, we might get back data like weather data, stock market data, or cryptocurrency data. We call these services web APIs or web services, and they're a huge part of how the modern web works. Just for fun, Let's build a Python program that uses this random Chuck Norris joke web service, where if we request a particular URL, we get back a random Chuck Norris joke. This website documents how the joke API works. I'll post a link to it in the video description. If we scroll down here, there's going to be a URL for requesting a random joke. So if we copy this URL and then paste it into a new tab and hit enter, our request is going to occur to the joke API. And here we get a random joke. Chuck Norris does not kick ass and take names. In fact, Chuck Norris kicks ass and assigns the corpse a number. It is currently recorded in the billions. If we do another request here by hitting refresh, we'll get back another joke. Chuck Norris doesn't shave. He kicks himself in the face. The only thing that can cut Chuck Norris is Chuck Norris. Technically speaking, the data we're getting back is what's called JSON data. So if we click on raw data here, we'll see the raw string we get back in response to a request to the API. So we actually get back data that looks like this. It's called JSON data or JavaScript object notation data. Now, without getting into it too much, JSON data is a lot like Python dictionary data where we have keys and values. So this key here type has the value success. This key here value has a value that is itself another set of keys and values. And at the key joke, we have the value Chuck Norris doesn't shave and so on. And that's the actual joke itself. So what we're going to do is make a request to this API using Python. Then we're going to pull out the joke from the response and display that to the user. So let's start implementing this in Python. Now, the first thing we'll do is import the request module. So the request module will allow us to make HTTP requests. We'll set a variable URL equal to a string containing the URL to get back a random Chuck Norris joke. To make the request, we're going to say response is equal to requests.get URL. So HTTP requests have different verbs, which are basically different types of requests. This type of request is called a get request. That's why we have dot get here. We're going to make a get request. We're going to get back an object representing the response to that request. What we actually want is the joke itself. The response object has a method called JSON. that's going to give us back a Python dictionary of the JSON data we got back in response. So for example, we could say joke is equal to response dot JSON. And this here is going to give us back a Python dictionary that aligns with this JSON data here in terms of the keys and values. What we want is the value at the key value followed by the key joke. So what we'll do is have open bracket value and open bracket joke here. And this is going to pull out the actual joke string from the response we got back and store it into the joke variable, we can now print out the joke. So we'll say print joke and we'll save this. And the program is now ready to be tested. So let's open up a command prompt. We do need to have the request module installed for our program to function. To install it, we could use the pip package manager. We would say pip install requests. Because I already have it on my system, I get requirement already satisfied but that is something you might need to do. So now we're on the program 
And here we get back this Chuck Norris joke. Mr. T pities the fool. Chuck Norris rips the fool's head off. Many web services allow us to customize the behavior of the web service by supplying values for parameters. So in the case of this web service here, there are some parameters. So there's a parameter that allows us to limit the joke to a particular category. So if we say limit to is equal to nerdy here, we can get back only nerdy jokes. We can actually use this parameter with our request module in Python. So in our code here, we'll say params is equal to, and we'll make a dictionary here. We're gonna say limit to is the key, and the value is going to be nerdy in these square brackets here. We'll then supply this params dictionary here as a second argument to the get method that's going to actually make the request. If we run our program now, we're gonna find that we get back nerdy jokes. So we'll run it and we get back this Chuck Norris joke about the game Civilization 4. We'll try it again, and this time we get this joke about RSA encryption. So we're getting back nerdy jokes now. The API also includes parameters that allow us to change the subject of the joke. So we can change the first name and last name of the person in the joke. So if we go to the documentation here and scroll up, we're gonna see that those parameters are called first name, and last name. So what we'll do is actually prompt the user to enter in a first name and a last name, and we'll use those in a request to the API. So we'll say here, first name is equal to input, and we'll have first name colon as our prompt. And then we'll say last name is equal to input, and we'll have last name colon as our prompt. And we'll supply the strings the user enters here as the values for these parameters. So we'll make two more parameters. We'll have one first name that's set to first name, whatever the user entered. Then we'll have last name is set to last name, where last name is the last name that the user entered. So we'll save this and we'll try this out. So again, we'll run a program. I'll put in Kevin for the first name and Brown for the last name. And now we get this joke here. Kevin Brown doesn't bug hunt, as that signifies a probability of failure. He goes bug killing. So this is how we can create a random Chuck Norris joke generator in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.